Welcome back to WJCL 22 morning news. Today is a impact day. There's a threat for some isolated severe storms. I'll track it out for you. As we look live though, first at Harbor Town, a kind of overcast skies, not much sunshine as we go throughout the daytime. It is muggy uh, for Hilton Head. A lot of humidity, 88% temperature at 73. There is a tornado watch out until one o'clock this afternoon. This is just south of our area. This does include Brunswick and Point South. We're down across the pan down to Florida. All of North Florida is under that uh, tornado watch. So it's south of our area, but still does it, does that not mean that we could not see maybe some isolated severe storms in our area today? And but the greatest threat is to our south, which is uh, good for us for sure for heavy rain possible. Also gusty winds, but the threat for tornadoes does look to be low as we go throughout the day. If you remember back to last Thursday, we had that enhance for all of our area. So you can see for today, definitely a less coverage for those chances for severe thunderstorms. That marginal threat. Everyone is in the green uh, for that threat for severe thunderstorms. You can see some shots hours of storms just off the coast. Heavy rain just south of Blackshear, Alma and Hazelhurst. It is all tracking to the north and northeast. Even some severe thunderstorm watches out or warnings rather there around Valdosta. So we'll be watching this closely as we go through the next hour as it moves up closer to Alma and also Blackshear. There's that tornado watch out just to our south and a lot of wet weather will continue to track our way as we go throughout the daytime. Now let's watch future cast. will show you a few showers as we start things off right now, but notice as we go into the mid morning, better chances for us, maybe some strong thunderstorms. Alma, Blackshear, Hazelhurst, to Baxley, and Vidalia. This is at 10 o'clock. And then as we move closer to lunchtime, we will see it more like widespread showers and storms. Gusty winds will be possible. And then after lunchtime today, I really believe the threat for a rain will begin to slowly go down, especially in the late afternoon, just throwing a few showers late afternoon and also uh, into the evening. So probably the best chance for severe weather today will take place from uh, mid morning all the way into about the early part of the afternoon. That's when I have the highest chances for showers and storms. Highs for today, more clouds and sunshine right around average. We'll see mid 80s where we'll top off for highs. So for the islands today, that threat for showers and storms will be out there for late morning into the afternoon. Highs close to 80 degrees for tidy and also for Hilton Head. Impact today, tomorrow, most of the day will be dry on Wednesday, but there's a small chance for maybe a shower or thunderstorm uh, in the afternoon. Highs 86 degrees, mostly sunny on Thursday, upper 80s. And then for the end of the week, we'll see Friday mainly dry throughout most of the day, but Friday night and into Saturday, a good chance we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms highs in the mid 80s. And right now I'm going with a dry forecast on Sunday and check out next week. Temperatures really begin to warm up. We'll see highs approaching 90 degrees by next Tuesday for the islands that impact day with that threat for maybe a few strong or even severe thunderstorms 80 for highs along the coast mid 80s tomorrow. Dry weather on Thursday and then showers and thunderstorm chances going back up by Friday night and into Saturday. Saturday and Sunday is looking dry and even for the islands next week it is looking warm with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s.